in today's role playing video, we built a tree house. I guess I could clean my room today. I mean, it is pretty messy. Eh, on second thought, it is summer. And I mean, who needs a clean room during summer? Hey, girly. Hey, Sky. What are you doing here? It's summer. Why wouldn't I be here? Where else would I be? At my own house at you. You have better chips over here. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, what's up? Well, I was bored at my house, so I figured I could either stay there or come here and we could be bored together. Also, now that summer has officially started, it is going by way too fast and we have less than eight weeks to go we need to work on our summer list agreed so what do we got so far well so far we had build a sand castle beach day eat a snow cone and then i kind of fell asleep but the good news is if take a nap was on the list then i already did it that's it sky that's nothing we need to get on it and we will don't worry knock knock mom you don't just say knock knock as you're coming in you either knock or say it we've been over this oh my gosh mackenzie what this room it looks like a tornado hit on its way into town or your closet just like threw up mom not now okay i'm with a friend i don't care if skies hears this the room is a disgrace mackenzie you told me that you were gonna clean it like days ago okay and i forgot so what it's summer what does summertime mean your broom and cleaning fingers go on vacation i don't think so no more continuing to enjoy your summer until you get this room cleaned mom you're embarrassing me well, this mess embarrasses me. The next time I come in here, all of this better be gone. Well, maybe if you knocked first, I'd have time to clean it up. Moments later. Hey, what are you doing down here? Where's Sky? Well, after you came into my room and yelled at me like the enemy of fun, the mood was kind of killed, so she went home. Look, I'm sorry we had a fight in front of your friend, but Mackenzie, I've been asking you to clean that room all week. Ugh, you don't get it, Mom. You embarrass me in front of Sky. Honey, Sky is your best friend. You stay best friends with someone long Long enough, you're gonna be embarrassed in front of each other plenty. That's not the point. I was in my room with her, minding my own business. And then you just came in and started screaming at me. It was so embarrassing and unfair, and you owe me an apology. Look, I'm sorry if you were embarrassed, but I'm your mother, and I have every right to give you direction in my own house. And I don't care who it's in front of. Cleaning your room is one of your chores, and if you abandon your chores, you are gonna have to deal with the consequences. Yeah, well, your consequences are unfair and could have waited an hour after school. Sky left. I mean, would it have killed you to yell at me in private and not in front of my best friend? My God, you're the worst. Hey, I know you're upset, but you don't have to speak to me like that when you live in my house. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I don't want to live in your dumb house anymore. If you keep speaking to me like that, you're going to be grounded for the rest of the summer, little missy. Well, you can't ground me if I don't live here anymore. You're a kid. Where else are you going to go? What, are you going to run away and live in the backyard like you did when you were six? No, I may be a kid, but I am old enough to take care of myself. So I'm out of here. I'm sick of living with a big, mean warden. <gasps> you take that back. I will not, warden. A few moments later. Hey, girly. Uh, what are you doing here? I just wanted to come and say that I'm really sorry how my mom acted. That was really uncool. Oh, yeah. I won't worry about it, though. I walked through the house with my muddy shoes on like an hour ago, and my mom literally just finished screaming at me about it. Well, the good news is you never have to worry about that again. Why? Did your mom lose her voice or something? Ooh, did she take a vow of silence? Nope, I'm moving out. You're doing what now? I can't live with my mom if she's constantly gonna embarrass me and treat me like that. Isn't it like kind of a mom's job though? Trust me, Skye, this is better for her too. She'll be much happier when I'm out of her house. She can have my room to herself to be, to work out, or to do whatever moms do in their spare time. Well, since nobody is bringing up the elephant in the room here, how are you going to afford to move out, girly? You can't even afford concert tickets that don't give us nosebleeds. Hey, I thought you said you liked those seats. I lied, and my bleeding nose ruined my pillow. But more importantly, have you actually thought about this though? I mean, not to sound harsh, but you're kind of poor. And by kind of poor, I mean like very poor. Wow, thanks. I don't even know what something harsh would sound like. I mean, it's not like I need a mansion or anything. I just want something cozy that I can call my own. And we'll have enough room for my bestie whenever she wants to stop by. Ooh, I do like the sound of that. I'm gonna meet with the bank today to find out how much I can afford. And after that, I have a meeting with my realtor to look at places that I can afford within my budget. Wow. Oh, look at you being all grown up about this and trying to find a real life version of Barbie's dream house. They don't exist in Brookhaven, Sky. I may have already looked.
moments later. Wow, going into the bank all by myself without my mom? I feel so grown up. Ooh, I wonder if they still give out lollipops. Welcome to Brookhaven Bank. Is there something I can help you with today? Hi, yes, I am looking to get my first place. I mean, we can only live with our parents for so long, am I right? Um, you are aware we don't sell homes here. This is a bank. Well, yeah, duh. But don't I need, like, a loan or some money so I'm able to afford to buy a house? Yes, that's generally how it works. What sort of budget are you working with? I have no idea, and that's kind of why I'm here. I'm not really sure what I have in my name, if anything. So I thought this would be a better idea to just see what I have. Okay, well, why don't you just hand me your ATM card, and we will get started. Great, yeah, here you go. All right, let me see. Hmm. Ooh, is that a good hmm? Does that mean I should just go to the ATM and take it all out in cash? What are we thinking? Single family duplex, <gasps> white picket fence? Yeah, I know I'm just a banker and shouldn't be giving anyone life advice, but with your account balance and no source of steady income, I highly suggest looking into tents or perhaps even a hotel room because there is no way that you are getting a house. What? But, but not even a small one? A small house is still a house. Look, I took a peek at your account balance from all the way back a year ago. Do you know most of your monthly spending goes to the ice cream store? Um, I've been told. I can't approve a loan for you, mostly because you're just a kid. But what I can do is write down your budget and you can see if you can find anything within that. Isn't there like a big vault back there with like tons and tons of cash in it? You think I can just like go in there and just take some? Do you know Officer George? Because, I mean, you could, but then you'd be spending the rest of the afternoon with him. Ugh, fine. Just tell me what it is, then. Here, I wrote it down for you on this paper. Wow, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's not monthly. That's all you have to spend on a house. Yikes. Okay, uh, maybe that's a little bad, then. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Mackenzie has just released her own Roblox clothing line with a collaboration with DressX called the Hey Cuties Collection. They've got got iridescent jackets, heart-shaped fanny packs, and cuties necklaces, which comes in three fantastic colors, pink, blue, and purple. Make sure to get them in the Roblox clothing store today so you can match with all your cutie friends. This is Laura from Brookhaven News, signing off. Later that same evening. Hello there, you must be Mackenzie. I'm the realtor. Yep, I sure am. Wonderful. Per our conversation, you said you were looking to move out of your parents' house. Is that correct? Sure is. I think the time has come for all of us. This little birdie's got to spread her wings. Sounds good. And do you know what price you're working with? I actually do. I just came from the bank and he wrote it down for me. I will say though, the houses on this street are gorgeous. I sure hope I can afford one. Well, let me take a look and see. <gasps> what? It's that bad? No, no, uh, I didn't say anything is bad. Let's just move away from this street. Far, far away from it. Meanwhile... Hey, uh, where are we going? Oh, nowhere in particular. Just somewhere you might be able to afford just a little bit more. Ah, and here we are. Huh? The Brookhaven Motel? Why are we here? Well, after looking over your numbers, I'm afraid a room here is the only thing within your budget. But let's look on the bright side. There are five different rooms to choose from and you can afford to stay for about a month. In a motel room? I don't want to move into a motel room. Please, come on. There's got to be something else. Well, there is one more thing. A few moments later. You've got to be kidding me. A tree house? Listen, you're not giving me a lot to work with here, kid. If you don't want to get your house from the local camping store and you don't want to live in the motel, I'm afraid I don't have any more options. But this is like a house in a tree. Hence, a tree house. Look, this place just became available, and it's within your price range. At least give it a try before you turn your nose on it. Okay, I guess. Just climb right up here. Oh my gosh, this is exhausting. <sighs> oh, you see, that's why I really need to sell this place to somebody young. That climb is a lot. Whoa, this place, it's perfect. It's like a real house, but it's in a tree. Yes, hence it being a tree house. You've already pointed that out. Look at this place. It's big, spacious. And it can be all mine? Once you sign the papers, it's yours. So, what do you say? I say, I gotta tell Sky! Later that same evening. Sky! Sky! Hey, girly! Did you give up on trying to find a place and go back home yet? Oh, no, because I found one. What? There's, there's no way. Where did you get the money? Did you win the lottery or something since, like, this morning? And if you did, I call a million bucks. Nope, no 
lottery. You were right. I couldn't afford a regular house. And I didn't want to just rent a motel room for a month. So my realtor helped me find something a little, uh, different. What do you mean by different? It's in a tree. Oh, I gotta see this. Meanwhile. Whoa, this is so cool. Look at this place. Oh my gosh. It literally has like a living room. It has a bedroom. It has everything. And it's in a tree, girly. Oh, girly, I am so and coming over after school every single day. Oh, and we should totally invite Ashley and Ayla over and then pull the ladder up real quick. Yeah, I guess that would be fun. Curly, what's wrong with you? You don't seem very excited for someone that just got their own tree house. I don't know. I just think the fight with my mom is starting to really get to me. I said some really mean things to her and it didn't really hit me until I was looking for some places. But it takes a lot to get a house. Maybe I shouldn't have like blown up at her like that. If I went through all that to get a place, I would want someone to keep my rooms clean too. You should go talk to her, girly, and apologize. Later that same evening. Knock, knock. What are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to live under the command of a big, mean warden. I'm really sorry, Mom. I should have never said all of that. You were right. I should have just cleaned my room. I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have embarrassed you in front of Sky. It could have waited another hour. Wait. So we're both wrong? I guess so. I promise you, I'll go clean my room right away. Don't worry, I'm not gonna scream at you if you don't. Oh, and something else I should probably mention, I spent all my savings on a treehouse. You did what? 